In this recording, we'll prove that residuals UI had, they're uncorrelated with predicted YI. So in deviation form, as you have seen in the earlier recording, that sample regression function could be written like this, which is YI hat equals to beta 2 hat XI. YI hat equals to beta 2 hat XI. Okay, you put summation sign, it will be summation yi hat equals to beta 2 hat summation xi. Now in case if you multiply both the sides by ui, what will you get is summation yi hat into ui hat equals to beta 2 hat summation xi ui hat. Okay, but remember that, that PRF in, in deviation form could be written as YI equals to beta 2 hat XI plus UI hat. You've already seen that. The, this is the way population regression function is written as. So, well, you can write your UI hat as from this yi minus beta 2 hat xi okay so summation yi hat ui hat could be written as beta 2 hat summation xi into this expression yi in place of ui hat you can write yi minus beta 2 hat xi clear so what will you have is beta 2 hat summation xi yi minus beta 2 hat square summation xi square clear so what you can write is beta 2 hat if you if you remember beta 2 hat in deviation form could be written as summation of xi yi upon summation of xi square this we have already proved in our earlier recording so you can go back and always look up to that summation of then summation of xi yi could be written as beta 2 hat into summation of xi square so this we are going to write here and this would become beta 2 hat into beta 2 hat summation xi square minus beta 2 hat summation xi square so this becomes beta 2 hat square so sorry square is here beta 2 hat square summation xi square minus beta 2 hat square summation xi square so both of them will cancel out and this will fetch you zero so this becomes summation yi hat into ui hat equals to zero and this is you wanted to prove that is there is there is no correlation between the residuals ui hat and the predicted yi